Hello, and welcome to Vacations by Tiffany. I'm your go-to travel agent giving you tips and information about cruises, Disney, and much more. In this episode, I'm telling you about what is and is not included on your Virgin Voyages cruise. Virgin is pretty new to the cruise industry, and they're really changing things up by being all 18 and up. You'll find a lot of things are included in your cruise fare that you wouldn't normally expect. And the good news is they're not just temporary promos. This is all the time on every cruise. First up is the Wi-Fi. They've got it all included and it's pretty good Wi-Fi at that. It's available all over the ship. So if you want to, you can stay in touch with everyone back home. You can check emails and social media or play your games that you want to keep up with. However, there is so much to do on the ship that you might be too busy having fun, but it is nice to know the Wi-Fi is there if you want it. The same Wi-Fi is also available at their private island resort, the Beach Club. A lot of cruise lines have their own app that you can use, and Virgin Voyages is no different. So before you leave for your cruise, download the Virgin Voyages app so that when you're on board, you can access it and use it to book dining, fitness classes, and show reservations. You can also check which events are happening around the ship and when. So let's talk about food. One of the best parts about cruising, in my opinion. Included in your cruise fare is drip coffee, hot tea, non-pressed juices and sodas, fruit punch and lemonade, and much more. Lots of options included in the price. This here is the galley, which is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and in between for drinks and snacks. And the sodas are all over the ship. So let's say you go to trivia at the pub, unlimited soda. You go to the pool and you order from a server, also unlimited soda. You stop by the bar on your way to your cabin, you guessed it, unlimited soda. There's also flat or sparkling water delivered to your room daily or by request. That was really such a nice feature. I liked having a designated water pitcher right in my cabin. Next up is dining. Virgin is really changing things up by not having any main dining room at all. Instead, they have specialty dining, but it's all included in the price. Now, usually something like the steakhouse or the Italian restaurant will cost extra on other cruise lines, but not on Virgin. This one here is Razzle Dazzle. It's a vegan forward restaurant where you'll find things like the Impossible Burger, and it's also open for brunch and dinner. This is a test kitchen, which was my personal favorite. It's a laboratory type eatery with experimental food. Pink Agave features modern Mexican and has a huge tequila menu. This one is The Wake, which is their steak and seafood restaurant. It's also open for brunch and dinner. Extra Virgin is the Italian restaurant with tons of freshly made pasta choices. And last but not least is the first Korean barbecue restaurant on any cruise ship. It's called Gunbae, which means cheers or bottoms up in Korean. You're bound to have a good time here playing drinking games with your table mates while your food is cooked for you right at your table. I do have other episodes here on my channel where I go into much more detail about each restaurant and what they feature on the menu. So for those of you who have been on cruises before, you know that you usually see a charge on your account each day for the gratuities. Well, Virgin figured since they're including the dining, they'll include the tips too. So there's no surprise totals on your bill while you're sailing away into your vacation. That also includes gratuities for your stateroom attendant too. One more big thing that's included is group fitness classes. That's right, they have lots of cool classes to choose from. There's a fun VHS workout with 80s music. There's spinning, yoga, bungee yoga, and honestly a whole bunch of classes I've not even heard of. But if you're into fitness and working out, then definitely check out their classes. Now they do fill up, so I suggest you sign up ahead of time. 
A lot of cruises have an ice cream shop or a candy store, and maybe popcorn available by the movie theater, but you might have to pay extra for it. Well, not on Virgin. They've got gelato, gummy bears, fresh marshmallows, and much more, all included in your cruise fare. Check out my snack episode for more details. All of the entertainment on board, like the shows and productions, are all included too. There's also trivia, games, and live music just to name some of the huge list of entertainment that you'll find. All right, so now for the parts that aren't included. There's alcohol, pressed juices, smoothies, and specialty coffees like espresso drinks. But don't worry, Virgin has you covered with what they call bar tab. Before you set sail, and even while you're on board, you can put a specific amount of money on your tab and be ready to order whatever you want. And with most of the drink prices under $10, you'll find that it might actually be cheaper than a drink package. So drinks at the pool, the private island, or specialty coffee shops can all be put on your tab. You can also rent a cabana at the beach club in Bimini for an extra charge. Also not included is spa services. Redemption is the name of their spa and thermal suite. They've got things like massages, seaweed wraps, and hot stone treatments. Or if you just want to splurge a little bit, you can treat yourself to a session in the thermal suite. They've got a mudroom, sauna, and hot and cold plunge pools. It's very glamorous, but they didn't allow cameras, so I couldn't bring you along. They do have lockers and locker rooms, however, so you don't have to leave everything in your cabin. Also not included is room service. For a small fee, you can order anything 24 hours a day and have it delivered to your cabin. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and visit vacationsbytiffany.com for more. See you next time.